I started improv after college just because I loved comedy, I loved comedy writing, and I listened to interviews with comedians and they all talked about doing improv, so I just looked it up and started. I became interested in improv because I was a fan of going to shows. It like fills me up, I would say, like with the laughter or the applause or the gasp or whatever it is. You can't break improv, <laughs> so it, I think it lets you become better feeling okay about making those mistakes. I think like every show I'm always nervous because you just don't know how it's going to go until you get on stage and you're with your team and then you let yourself go in that moment and then everything kind of starts to feel better. <laughs> I never thought of getting up on stage. I never thought I was funny, and I was terrified at first. But there's a lot of benefits. Originally, I was quite stiff and very careful and filtered everything. And then in improv, I would learn to do the opposite and just be free and you know try to stop the internal judgment going on. I had a horrible stage presence. I was very nervous when I got in front of crowds. Uh, I really didn't know how to take command of my words or even my body. I was making myself very, very small. But every improv community that I've ever entered has been like usually some of the most supportive people I've ever met in my life. I think improv is for everyone. You will be surprised how inclusive it is starting off. It's so worthwhile for anyone to go ahead and, and take an improv course or workshop to kind of work on communication skills, listening skills. I think even in terms of like body language and becoming more comfortable with presenting and being in front of people as well. I feel like I get to be more myself at improv. I'm a little buttoned up at work, which I don't like. Uh, and obviously you can do anything you want in improv. To get on stage and be these silly characters and do these outlandish things is a form of vulnerability. Um, to put yourself out there and when you do that with someone else, it does something for human relationships to have those experiences together. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to, to be whoever I am, that I can survive. It's okay if you're afraid. It's okay if you're shy. It's okay if you're not funny. Um, you just try it and see if it's right for you. Every person has specific talents. You'll find it out through trying. Once you challenge yourself to do it. 